what's up y'all i got a film to feed so let's get into this tea we about to get into voices video i guess um she's probably responding to lena goes off lena goes off on me after my video so she definitely is let's get into it king and lena dropped the video called sorry we lied and in their video they react to my video about king being in miami in june i reported on a lambo truck that king had and lena taking pictures in a similar lambo truck now they did show evidence that it wasn't the same lambo truck my apologies because i got the pictures and the location mixed up and this is why i always say alleged especially if i'm not adding context on my opinion to the situation and Next. i think this situation would have been a little bit more clearer for people if i would have did that moving forward after watching my old videos and reading my old notes Y'all are going to hear my opinion. I'm going to add timestamps, but let's get into a situation that happened back in 2020 of September with Nick King, Carmen, and Corey. They were going back and forth on live. There was a lot of tea two, two, two in the chat. spilled about King and his trip to LA. King went to LA and while he was in LA, there was a lot of things that came out about him being with another person and Nick got upset while he was in LA and she went to Miami. This is where the whole Miami situation, I didn't know which one went to Miami and this is when the whole story with Fredo Bang and her in Miami while King was in LA cheating. And long story short, y'all remember when Neek and King was, Neek was in Miami and King was in LA? We could have called the police because you can't tell how breaking shit because your man cheated on you. Now, fast forward a couple of weeks after that LA trip that King came back from, Your he actually went to you. the manager and confided in her and told her about a girl that he met and he was smashing. And the girl that he was describing, because he described the girl to the manager, sounds similar to Carmen. And this is why the manager said Carmen's name and he went along with it when it wasn't actually Carmen who he was describing. And it wasn't Ashley because the description you gave wasn't even similar to Ashley because the yeah, person that you described was similar to Carmen, even though it wasn't Carmen. Carmen gets dragged in all the names all the girls got dragged in too but all the girls didn't make sense to really put in the category because it's like why when they not even her friend why let me tell y'all something when this was going on bro i'm listening to carmen and i'm like i don't i don't want to do this anymore <laughs> i did not, not want to do it anymore i cannot understand what you're saying and i'm not talking about the language barrier because that ain't even a prop outside of Carmen even having a language barrier. I mean, you can't even understand what Corey say at the time. So I want to put that out there. This has nothing to do with language. This has nothing to do with discrimination. Suck it. Okay. You just genuinely can't understand what the hell she talking about. <laughs> just be saying any damn thing. So do Corey. Um, so at that time, I'm just like, this is not for me. So I get, I did not want to be a part of none of this. I didn't understand it. That wouldn't even make sense because they're not, they don't even leave in Houston. Carmen said the girl don't even live in Houston. So what's the next best thing to do? Take the girl to LA where you're not even from and have a good time in a whole nother state. How but did Carmen know who the girl was? Did Neek tell him who the girl was? If Neek knew who the girl was, then why she didn't say it was Lena? I'm not understanding. Still got caught because you're king. In King and Lena's video last night, Lena said that she'd never been the side and she's always been the main. But she started talking to King, quote unquote, December 2nd. But he bought in New Year's with Ashley December December 31st, 2020. <clears throat> no. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she didn't. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. 20. Lena's video. <laughs> Last night, Lena said that she'd never been the side and she's always been the main. But she started talking to King, quote unquote, December 2nd. But he bought in New Year's with Ashley December 31st, 2020. We were yo driving back from John's. John was his old little um manager. And I said, Are we exclusively like is, is it just me and you? Are we exclusively are we talking to other people on my daughter's life? I would never put nothing on my daughter's life. On my daughter's life, this man said, It's just me and you. This man tried to come. It's just me and you, and I know niggas gaslight. I said this yesterday. But if he don't say we in a relationship, y'all not together, friend. <laughs> For real. I know I need a haircut, y'all, and I need my hair done, but that's besides the point because I'm looking at myself. Jesus Christ. But all I'm saying is, he never said we in a relay. 
relationship. Not from what she's saying. She said the nigga said, it's me and you. That's some nigga shit. Like some, something a nigga say right quick to make you just, mm, like, you know what I'm saying? Make you, <sighs> niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. Front me about talking to a whole nother person before. Like, and this was after February. So please, it's just like, why are we having this? Why, why are you still lying? Why are we still lying? Oh, Y'all seen the messages of him talking about he missed me apparently the time I that he was with that girl. And then after that, he did videos with several girls, including Nick. And you allowed this man to do you with no protection, make you relocate and drop out of school and moved you in as a roommate and played in your face. And you've been a maid to who though? Cause not to this man. So excuse me if it sounds believable, that he possibly could have been messing with you in LA. Because since you been decide whether you knew it or not to a whole lot of women up until quote unquote June 21st when y'all made it official back in 2021. This is how my detective skills kicked in. Cause you been playing sidekick roles. I wish them nothing but the best. I hope everything. Now voice. I ain't gonna lie, that was good. Y'all, I'm hard. I, that was good. If we're gonna, if we're gonna call it a back and forth, if we're going to call this an argument, voice came with a good argument. She owned up to what she said about the picture she was wrong. And Lena said they've been talking since um, December 2nd, 2020. King brought a New Year's with a whole nother chick. Need I say more? I'm, I'm just... Listen... I'm sorry. I still feel like all of this is petty and we should just kind of like throw it to the side. However, content is content. What YouTubers got to understand is if y'all put the shit out, people are going to talk about it the end, nigga. People is me. People is voice. People is tea room. People is so real tea and the rest. Okay. Um... Originally, when I started reacting to YouTubers, and I feel like I was the first to react to this collective group, I don't care what nobody say. Uh, I was definitely reacting to the positive things I was. The positive things woed me. I was like, oh my God, these young people, they in love, making a lot of money, got these beautiful children. It was amazing. And then y'all started coming out with storylines, faking shit. I know we can just blame <laughs> blame y'all's manager. I would just say that I know that you would want to blame her. But I'm not going to lie. She wasn't wrong. Drama sells. Drama sells. And to be honest, a lot of drama is what got y'all where y'all was, where y'all, excuse me, where y'all are today. And a lot of it came from us reacting to it. And I'm not saying all y'all following just came from bloggers or vloggers or whatever you want to call us. But I am saying that we played a part for sure. And you just can't be happy when somebody's reacting to the good and not reacting to the bad, bro. When I went through like my little debacle of me being a narcissist and getting exposed for being the piece of shit that I was, um, everybody that reacted to it, I didn't care. I I knew it was going to happen. Maybe I knew because of the nature of the beast. This is what I do, whatever. But I know this is going to happen. Now, if y'all saying something about me and you're wrong, I'm on your ass. Okay? Completely on your ass. Not because I'm in my feelings, because you tried it. So in this situation, they feel as though voice tried it, and they wasn't wrong for reacting either, and they won't be wrong if they come back with some shit. You know what I'm saying? But, y'all, this is what content is, unfortunately. But I ain't going to lie. In the beginning, when I was reacting to y'all stuff, it was absolutely positive. It was funny. Y'all doing pranks. Ha, 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 girl. It was funny. We was laughing. Then that drama started. And then I had to ask myself, am I, am I about to start? Am I about to stop reacting to them? Like, I met them. I know King. I'm cool with King. Am I wrong for reacting to his stuff? The answer is hell no. When your rage and, and Kyle was going through their little situation, or when Kyle went out and did his little shit and whatever happened, your rage can react to that freely. DDG had a problem at one point. Your rage reacted to something, but they had their little debacle. They got over it. My point is this shit is going to happen. Re-react back 
Somebody might react again and we're going to keep it moving. But I, I think everybody should stop taking this shit personal because we all get talked about every day, good or bad. And that is what's keeping that bag in your pocket. Let's be real. If niggas didn't come up with these sob ass, fake ass storylines, I don't think T pages would have ever even existed, to be honest with you. But when y'all started going through y'all mess and y'all started uh, venting t uh, to us y'all mess, how did y'all not expect for us to talk about it? I just want y'all to know that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but nobody wants to see y'all down, hurt, bad, not me. And I would never affiliate with anybody that do, and I know voice don't. You know what I'm saying? Even T-Room was questionable in the beginning, but no, nah, she actually just put the shit out. <laughs> One thing she going to do is put it out. She don't even give her opinion too much. She just puts it out, you know, and she ain't wrong for that. So uh, I just kind of hope y'all get with the program to stop slowing yourself down. Talk y'all shit. Keep it moving. The end. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.